You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Grizel Quinones. Did I do it okay? Yes, you did. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much, Mark Lynn, for giving me an opportunity for sitting here with your Brockton Community SS. You're welcome. You, we, you guys do good work. You are involved with the volunteer group, the Ash Street Park Neighborhood Association, and that's my old neighborhood. I lived at 200 Ash Street. Uh, my parents lived there from 62 to 92, and they sold, moved to Easton. They sold the house before I knew it was for sale or I would have lived there myself. I love Ash Street. It's a great place. It's also called the Harold Bent Playground, named after a former mayor, but everybody calls it Ash Street. Everybody knows it's Ash Street. And you're doing a great event coming up there. Halloween's uh, right around the corner. Yes, it is. And we're more than likely happy to have been, you know, becoming part of this Ash Street Park Neighborhood Association, bringing forth a lot of um, activities, events to our neighbors, to our community in Brockton, outside of Brockton, I would have to say, guys, you're all welcome to come and join us October 21st yeah, at the October Harvest. 21st, 10 to 3. 10 right? a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Harvest Patch event at the Ashley um, Playground. I see free all over, right? Free? Free? Free fun free for good. all the kids. Okay. Free kids of all ages? Ages from 1 to 17. Okay. All kids must be accompanied by parents. Exactly. Including the high school students. Um, our park is open to the public. We want a safe haven park for our parents, our families, our children, children of all ages, as I expressed, 1 to 17. Um, intellectually challenged children are welcome. Mm -hmm. Non-intellectual challenged children are also welcome. And we ask that all parents and children come in and have fun, dress in your costumes, ready to have fun and engage in all the activities that we're going to be having. We're also going to be having... Um, three to five best costume winners for children okay. of all ages. I heard bobbin for apples, mm. eating donuts on a string, all of that stuff. Is that They're true? We're going to be having all of that, all that fun and activity Old stuff. Old fashioned fun. Yes. Okay. And uh, there might be uh, some potato racing, some uh, relay racing. There are going to be other activities going on. And do you have a band too, I heard? Yes. We're going to be having the I For You band. Okay. Uh, we have heard their band play at a previous event. They were amazing. They were excellent. I enjoyed the um, music that they had. Yeah. And I look forward to having everyone come on October 21st from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. All parents, children, come dressed in your costumes, ready to have fun. And if you don't have a costume, um, and just come down. We'll have a face painter. And as well, if there are any out there that have costumes that are not using them, we would ask that you just donate them to the Ashley Park Neighborhood Association. Come now, how down. How do they get in touch with you? They can get in touch uh, to me through my uh, Facebook page at the Ashley Park Neighborhood Association. Okay. Ash at the um, Ashley Park Neighborhood Association at Weebly.com. Okay. It's on this page. Okay. We'll put it up on the screen. So you don't have to hold it up. So that's one event. Yes. So I heard that's on October 21st, 10 to 3 at Ash Street Park, which is between Ash Street and Belmont Ave. Yes. And the number is 143 Belmont Avenue. You can Google map it and it will direct you right to the park. And there's parking around the park. And then yes. There's and there's a, also there's parking a church across that... the street, which is a Haitian Christian church. And they will also be involved. More than likely, they will allow people to drive their cars and park there. Okay, that's good. Now, you told me you also have November and December events. Yes, so I also have another event coming up on in November. We started this in September. It's a third annual food drive for families and with children that are impoverished, are in need of food, and more likely today, there are many that are with no food. And we would ask that you connect to us as well through the Ash Street Park Neighborhood Association. From now to November 23rd, food can, um, canned goods. Um, we're also looking for turkeys. To, can they bring that, uh, well, not the turkey, but the canned goods and stuff. If they wanted to come to the event on the 21st, could they bring a yes, the food they, item? Yes, they could. So that would help. So on October 20, um, 21st, you can also bring your food items for the Thanksgiving Hunger to Drive Operational 
special bag drop off on October 21st. Any goods, canned goods, um, anything that's um, packaged, no fresh or frozen goods, that we will accept on the 23rd of November at 15 Ellis Street, Brockton, Massachusetts. And if I have any other locations, I will be posting it on our Facebook. And you can send it to us because we have a community bulletin board. Yes. Too. We have a video print. So that's October. We went into November. Now what's December? Well, December is a our third annual Holiday Hope Toy and Clothes Drive that we do every year since it's our third. And we collect clothing, toys mm -hmm. for families with challenged children as well as children that, ha that have no challenges. Sure. And we hope to collect as much as anywhere between 500 to 1,000 toys in regards to clothing as well of all sizes. That will include shoes, hats and scarves and gloves to bring forward to children and their families that don't have to keep themselves warm and possibly even send over to families that have been, you know, like in maybe, the moment. Maybe people that uh, were victimized by the hurricanes, yes. you know, Puerto Rico, places Correct. like that. Um, Not only Puerto Rico, but Florida. And Texas. Texas, Mexico. There you go. Okay, so you and your husband, Rigoberto. Yes. I said that right too. Husband, wife, team, teaming up to do good for the community. Um, I'm, I'm happy to see when I go by Ash Street Park. You guys did a great job. You just did a clean Thank up for that. Thank you very much. And this will be a nice event that happens there. Um, I used to play there, I, I both baseball when I didn't warm the bench, and actually the swing sets, and it was it's just a nice part. It, 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 when I was a kid, it was it was probably the nicest park in the city of Brockton. Edgar Park has always been really nice. Ash Street Park was always really nice, and because of folks like you, volunteers, it, it's it's a nice place to go. It's a nice place for families. And I have to say. The Ashley Park Neighborhood Association and partnered with the church across the street along with everyone else that will be coming down October 21st and they're looking forward to having a great time and I have to say yes the Ashley Park Neighborhood Association has been well kept and mm -hmm. we've been cleaning and we're also looking for helping hands to for volunteer the, for, this event. for each All event, okay. even before. So get a, so the best way to get a hold of you is through the Facebook page? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have them do that. We'll put this on, we'll give it to you. You can put it on the Facebook page and recruit more people. And they're all on Facebook, but I will repost them again. And everyone interested in looking for these um, events can also give me a call. Go ahead. At 774-240-2388 as well as at 774-823-2218. Okay, well, got it all the information. Thanks Thank you very much. On, and uh, we'll see you there. Thank you okay. once again, and I appreciate this uh, moment of time to you totally bring welcome. this out to the public. Totally welcome. And I hope that everyone come join us October 21st. It's going to be fun and exciting because I'm looking to get myself into the game and activities with everyone out there. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.